When another person is experiencing a problem, most of us have a tendency to jump in and help by giving them advice or asking questions or reassuring to make them feel better. Even though our motivation is to be helpful, these responses do just the opposite and become roadblocks that fail to relieve the other person's upset and often make it worse. Can you think of some recent examples where you have used roadblocks when trying to help someone when they own a problem? Hi, Michelle. What can I do for you? Hey, Tom. So where are we right now? Um, well, actually, we we're having a little bit of issue with the uh, scrolling images that you want on the home page. Um, the sizing, the resolution, they're completely inconsistent. Wait, whoa, Tom. Just... Wait a minute. You need to make sure that page has exactly what we asked for. Got it? Uh, yeah. Got it. Hey, whoa, we Tom, just... wait a minute. You need to make sure that page has exactly what we asked for. Yes, Mark? Did you see the newsletter yet? Can you believe they didn't post my article? I worked really hard on that. Well, it was way too long and kind of hard to understand. And, you know, I just don't think that this kind of writing is your forte anyway. Well, it was way too long and kind of hard to understand. And, you know, I just don't think that this kind of writing is your forte anyway. Sam? Yes, Amy. Can I talk to you a minute? Oh, uh, sure. What's up? Today's the day I'm supposed to lead the team meeting for the first time, but I'm really nervous about it. I just don't know if I can do it. Well, did you ask Craig? He's really good at leading meetings. Well, no, I didn't. And I don't really want to copy his style, I just... Well, did you rehearse it? I mean, you prepared your notes, right? Well, did you rehearse it? I mean, you prepared your notes, right? <sighs> 